So for um, number 36, we are taking the area bounded between these two curves, which I have shaded in yellow, and we're rotating about the line x is equal to negative 1, so about this line right here. Um, and now this area in yellow, it tells us that it's between 0 to pi, right? So we're summing it up from 0 all the way out to pi. So we already have the bounds of our integral that goes from 0 to pi. And now let's think about what happens when we revolve this area about the line x is equal to negative 1. Um, we're going to take a point on the red curve, and we're going to look at the height of that curve, right? So whenever we're, we're um, revolving, we're always taking points at the red curve, and we're looking at the height and then revolving that height. Um, so we're revolving the height about the line x is equal to negative 1. So we're going to have a cylinder like so. Um, and so this cylinder, we can think of it as, um, as wrapping an infinitely thin sheet of paper around the line x is equal to negative 1. And so when we unwrap it, we are left with an area, right? Um, and it definitely is an area as a function of x because as I move along the x-axis, um, you can see here that my cylinders are going to change, right? They're going to get uh, they're going to get bigger. Let me just remove that so it doesn't get too crowded. Okay, so it is an area um, as a function of x, and we just have to figure out how to express this area in terms of x because if we do, then we can sum up all these areas, right? And if we sum all of them, we are going to get a volume. Um, and now this area, this is a rectangle, so this area is going to be base times height. Um, now the height is going to be rather easy because, as we said before, that is just the height of the red curve, right? And the red curve is x cubed sine of x. So it's wherever it touches that. Um, so this is just going to be uh, x cubed times sine of x. And now let's look at the base. Um, and the base here is going to be the base of our cylinder, right? And as we can see here, this is just a circle. It's the circumference of a circle. Um, yeah, it's the circumference of a, of a circle. So any circumference is given by 2 pi r, but we don't want it in terms of r because we're integrating with respect to x. Um, so let's pretend that this point here is x is equal to, I don't know, 1.8. Um, that's not an exact number. We're just pretending just to, to show you how this... Uh, how the radius is calculated, right? Well, the origin of my circle begins here at negative 1. So to get to x is equal to 1.8, I'm going to have to go from negative 1 to 0. So that's a distance of 1, and then plus a distance of 1.8, right? Um, so you can see here that it's a distance of 1 plus the value of x. Um, if I were here, x is equal to pi, I would have to go from negative 1 to 0, and then from 0 to pi. So, generically speaking, my radius is going to be just 1, um, because I begin at negative 1, plus wherever I'm at on my x-axis. So, the base is going to be the circumference, right? So, that's just 2 pi, um, and instead of r, I'm going to put 1 plus x, because that's the distance of the radius. And so, area is equal to base times height, which is equal to um, 2 pi times 1 plus x, and then times uh, x cubed uh, sine of x. And so that's the expression for my area, right? It means that whenever I take any value of x between 0 to pi, if I plug it into this expression, I'm going to get the area of the cylinder that wraps around um, the line, right? The line x is equal to negative 1. So all I have to do is I have to sum up all these areas, um, and so I'm going to replace it in my integral. I'm going to move that here, and then there is a little um, there is a little dx at the end. Yeah. And now um, it wants us to use a computer algebra system to solve it. Uh, we don't have to integrate this ourselves. So I'm using the, in, the online integral called Symbolab. If you just plug in this um, integral and then ask it to evaluate from 0 to pi, it's going to give you um, 2 pi to the power of 5 uh, plus 2 pi to the power of 4 um, minus 24 pi cubed. And then that gives us minus 12 pi squared um, plus 96 pi.
cloud. And that's what we get when we take this area and we revolve it about the line um, x is equal to negative 1.